to make a Facebook Live and I can't because there's absolutely no signal here, but look, uh, there. It's a buffalo and it's hanging out and it looks kind of far away from me, but it's not, I promise. For some reason, this video just doesn't show it the way it's supposed to be. And over here, there's another okay. buffalo uh, somewhere hanging out right up there-ish. Um, and I think the people on the path don't realize and we got here and we heard a guy in the van say, hey, if you go halfway up the path and you hurry, you might see the grizzly bear, all the people are there. And we were like, there shouldn't be people on the path with the grizzly bear. So we came to check out the springs. I got to see some buffalo in person and it's awesome. And now it's raining and I think we're going back to the car. But did they go back to the car? No, because Jeff wanted to go up the trail and see what other things might be there where the grizzly bear is. And we wanted to be like hanging out with a buffalo <laughs> within striking distance in the rain. Yeah, great plan. I'm as big a National Geographic fan as the next guy. I mean, for real. I am out here every day exploring. <laughs> but I don't, I don't speak bear. And some guy, we started up the path. We started up the path. And then we got struck by a bolt of common sense and turned around and came back. Because why tempt fate? Why do that? That's ignorant. And some guy that we passed who was leaving as we were going in, tried to bear shame us and said, oh, what, you turned around before you saw the bear? And I said, fool, do you know how tasty I am? And also Jeff didn't bring his bear spray. So we're going back to the truck. The end. <laughs>